Today's Bible study is titled Even A.S. Abraham. As we discussed in our last installment, Paul spoke of the sign gifts that the Galatian believers had been empowered to demonstrate because Jews require a sign, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22, and then to reinforce that the obedience of faith in the gospel of the kingdom, much less that of the gospel of grace, namely works of the law, circumcision, water baptism, and obeying the Mosaic law, was not now, at the time of Paul's writing, how the gift of the Spirit was received, stating he therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Galatians 3 verse 5 Since Paul's gospel teaches salvation and simple belief by grace through faith and the associated indwelling and sealing with the Holy Spirit is not associated with any works, law or otherwise, but by the hearing of faith, Paul reinforces this with the example of Abraham. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So, then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Galatians 3 verses 6 to 9. Let's dig into this. So, Paul here uses the example of Abraham as father of all them that believe, Romans 4 verse 11, showing the pathway by which even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Galatians 3 verse 6. And thereby, Paul notes that the Galatian believers, and us, should know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the some are the children of Abraham. Galatians 3 verse 7. This is further borne out and the role of circumcision shown as Paul notes that Abraham received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had yet being uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also, and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised. Romans 4 verses 11 to 12. So, righteousness was imputed to Abraham while in uncircumcision and he, thereby, is likewise father of all who walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, separate and apart from circumcision, or anything other than belief and faith. Paul also notes the prophetic scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, And thee shall all nations be blessed. Galatians 3 verse 8 And this is to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Romans 4 verse 16 We'll talk more about seed and seeds later in Galatians 3, but suffice it to say that Paul has here clearly demonstrated regarding the law teaching associated with the another gospel, the now post gospel of the kingdom, was incorrect by the example of Abraham, who was accounted righteous through faith. As a result, so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. As Abraham was the forerunner of all, Jew and heathen, who would likewise come to know that therefore it is of faith, that it might be by grace, Romans 4 verse 11. Believer, know that salvation has always been in simple belief by grace through faith, although the object of that faith was kept hidden from the foundations of the world, the mystery, until revealed to Paul. Also, it helps to understand that obedience of faith, before the revelation of the mystery, differed dispensationally. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.